<laughs> I think we're going to do this. I just hit the record button. This has been weeks, months, years in the making. My name is Mark McFall. You are listening to the Zepp Fan Podcast. This podcast will be essential for the Led Zeppelin fan and, of course, the Led Zeppelin collector. This is episode number one. The premise for each episode, we will focus on Led Zeppelin collecting and showcase as many collectible pieces of memorabilia that we possibly can. Our website, zepfan.com, is the largest database of Led Zeppelin memorabilia in the world. Please check it out. We feature all collectibles from 1969 to present day. If you are interested in showcasing any parts of your collection in our website, you will be credited for the listing and, of course, you will be helping out the Led Zeppelin collecting community by featuring your item. Please contact me at mark at zepfan.com. So this month we will be featuring 10 of the most desirable picture sleeves. This list is in no set order and of course with any compilation of a list there will always be controversy, debates, and disagreements. But let's remember in the end the song does remain the same and it is all about Led Zeppelin. If you have any suggestions for a list or any collectibles you would like to see featured, please let us know. We will do our best to accommodate your wish. So before I begin, I would like to say thank you to Nick Anderson for providing the topic for this episode. He is a huge collector of vinyl and has provided so much to the website. I just want to say, I thank you. Let's talk a little bit about 45s and singles and picture sleeves and being a sought after record. So what does that actually mean, being sought after? What makes it desirable? You know, it all comes down to the collectability of the piece, how rare it is. People love the sleeve artwork, so that if it has unique sleeve artwork, you know, sometimes historic significance is important. Uh, you know, even the province, where it was released at. And, you know, condition plays a huge part, too, because finding some of this stuff in great condition, mint condition, is really hard to do. So when you see it or find it, you're all over it. You know, it always comes down to how bad you want it, and as you guys know, and how bad the other collector wants it. Uh, you know, of course, the more people want it, the more it's talked about, always heightens the desirability of this piece, and sometimes makes it harder to get. So if there's anything you're looking for, I do wish you luck. If there's anything I could help you with, please let me know. With that being said, let's dive into some singles, some most sought-after picture sleeve singles. So we're going to start off with some Thailand, or we're going to go to Thailand. So here's a really unique one. You know, Thailand releases are kind of quasi, you know, unofficial releases, but they're very sought after. They always have some really cool uh, picture sleeves and so forth. What makes this one really unique, uh, it has Immigrant Song on one side, has Them Changes and Black Magic Woman. This has the really unique Led Zeppelin three artwork, of course, no spinning wheel. Um, but this piece alone is, is, there's two versions of it. There is a standard black vinyl version, which of course is very hard to get, very rare. And then there's this one. Wow, look at this. Red translucent vinyl. Impressive, right? So you don't see a lot of uh, colored vinyl coming out of Thailand. So this one, it's very hard to find, very sought after. So I recommend if you see it, pick it up. Moving on, let's go to Australia. With Australia, this piece is pretty interesting. This is Whole Lot of Love, Black Mountain Side, Good Times, Bad Times, Communication Breakdown. Great EP from Australia from 1970. You know, the interesting thing about this is collectors really didn't know about this until the early 90s. What makes this so unique, I think, is really the artwork. I mean, how epic is that cover? You don't need the blimp in the background. You just see the color, this brownish color. And the, the, the World War II people, and then you see John Paul Jones sitting right in front. You know exactly what this is all about. It's all about Led Zeppelin II. And of course, this is a stellar uh, EP. I mean, some great tunes on it. Next up, we're going to go to the United States. You remember the United States. This has Stairway to Heaven on both sides, a mono version and a stereo version. Um, very simplistic picture sleeve. But, of course, it's the epic Stairway to Heaven. What's interesting about this, I mean, this was released in 1972 with the release of Led Zeppelin IV. I'm sure Stairway to Heaven just shot off the charts. Everybody wanted to hear it. So why not make this promotional? Let's get it out there. So they did. 
Next up, Japan. So a lot of collectors have seen this. A lot of collectors probably have this single in their piece. This, the standard version of this is Living Loving Made and Bring It On Home. Uh, this is from Atlantic and Nippon Gramophone. This is a widely available stock copy. You could probably find it on eBay right now. But with this one in particular, this is the promo single. That makes it, look at these, look at these labels. So the labels are different than this one. So one, it being a promotional. What's interesting with this one is, you know, usually you could find promotional from these bigger countries, the United States, UK, um, Japan. This one, there's only a few of these known to exist. So this is very hard to find, very rare, very expensive. So another great piece from Japan. We're going to hit on some other Japan ones, and I'm sure you collectors know what's coming up for Japan later on. But next up, we have this uh, just killer cover from Italy from 1970. So, oh, excuse me, 1969. So this is Good Times, Bad Times, Communication Breakdown. Uh, you know, what makes this one very sought after, one, the location. I think Italy is just a wonderful place. It's just very unique with their, their pictures. These are really nicely done. This one having the psychedelic cover. On the, on the reverse side, you see it does have just a different color of the same cover. This one is really very sought after, very nice looking, very early. So, Turkey, 1971. So we have the standard immigrant song, Hey, Hey, What Could I Do release. So there are four different single releases from Turkey. This one by far is the rarest. Uh, you know, very strange looking single, of course. We talked about earlier, right? It has the unique artwork and just the location. It's a very unique piece, very rare, very collectible. So we're going to go back to 1969, United States. Babe, I'm going to leave you in Dazed and Confused. One, I think that this cover is just really cool. There's a stereo release. There's a mono release. For historic purposes, this is the first the first U.S. 7-inch promo release from the United States. So the historic value, and then, of course, you have this really unique artwork. So you can kind of see a theme with this stuff. Next up, Bolivia. You know, this, this EP was discovered by collectors in the early 2000s. Another one of those, I think, you know, just with the Internet, brought out a lot more attention to this stuff. You know, it's a great database to finding things. And for things to see the light, especially these singles, uh, from the time some of the single books have been released for in 1998 to you know now, doubled as, as far as what's out there. So this one from um, Bolivia, it's Immigrant Song, Celebration Day, and Since I've Been Loving You. Uh, you know, only a handful of copies have emerged with sleeves. What's very interesting about this one, I mean, these things are just obscenely rare. But even though it's so rare, they remarkably had four different covers for it that exist. So who knows how many were done? Not a lot, but they're all just color variations. Um, but yeah, really unique piece. Very hard to get. So I recommend, again, if you find it, pick it up. It's worth the investment. So another one that's talked about among collectors for years is this one from 1973 from Angola. So this one from Angola, one, I mean, the cover is just really remarkable. But the thing is, you wouldn't think a lot of these you know, would have survived from this country. And it's just really unique that it came from this country anyway. But this is the only African Zep picture sleeve. It has a really cool image. This house of the holy is just stellar. The sleeve artwork that makes it really popular, the location of it, you don't see a lot of them. So again, if you get it, pick it up. Last but not least, Immigrant Song Out on the Tiles. I think all collectors or all, you know, a lot of fans have probably seen this image one way or the other. I've seen it on, you know, bootleg CDs. This is a, you know, this is a really hard one to get. It's been around for a long time, and I think sometimes it has that history behind it, so that makes it really desirable. First, let's talk about the story of this piece and what kind of what makes it interesting and what makes it unique. So when Atlantic Records changed its licensing in Japan with Nippon Gramophone, and they went to with Pioneer Corporation, which of course resulted in the Warner, Warner Pioneer release or licensing, it created this ultimate Zep single, right? And they didn't even know it. But 
What happened was Nippon Gramophone had started to press promo singles for the next release, Led Zeppelin 3, and this was one of them, Immigrant Song. So they had to cancel the, the planned release for it since they lost the Atlantic contract. So, you know, only a few of these promo sing singles actually escaped from cancellation. If That being said, if a lot were even made. But although not the rarest Zepp single, I mean, my guess would be about 15 to 20 out there. You know, and that we've even seen some of these without the sleeves. You know, it is still a really sought after piece. Um, this one comes with the letter, which, which, you know, I don't even know how many of these letters are. And really makes it the most valuable single, just because you have the history of it. This, the story behind is the significance of it and so forth. And that's it, my friends. That's 10 of them. Just curious how many you're thinking about is not on the list. So I'd love to hear from you. Definitely put it in comments. Ping me. Email me. Let's talk about it. We could always do a part two to this. Part three, part four. You know how this collecting goes. It, it never ends. So first, I just want to say thank you for making it through this first episode of Zep Fan. Hopefully, we'll have a lot more to come. Our goal is to have interviews with collectors um, and really just talk about Led Zeppelin, talk about Led Zeppelin collecting. I'm sure a lot of you, like myself, just have this passion for this band that's just un unstoppable. Um, you know, not to steal from Dave Lewis, but, you know, when he wrote, it's not just a band, it's a way of life. First thing I thought about, it's like, hell yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, it is, I just, I've been doing this for 35 years, almost 40 years now. So, I mean, I just can't get it out of my blood. Love talking about the band. Love watching the band, listening to them, collecting them, putting together this website. Anything I could do to showcase it. Oh, look. Sounds like Black Country Woman. Try to get this airplane off. Not leave it. <laughs> so on that note, I think that'll be a good one to leave on. Everybody have a great evening. Rock on and rock out. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>